Why? It was mine. Know this. The heart that is strong and true shall win the Keyblade. What? You're saying my heart's weaker than his? For that instant it was. However, you can become stronger. You showed no fear in stepping through the door to darkness. It held no terror for you. Plunge deeper into the darkness, and your heart will grow even stronger. What should I do? It's really quite simple. Open yourself to the darkness. That is all. Let your heart, your being, become darkness itself. that guy all right we've got another lift stop here Castle Gardens. This is a switch for... Okay. That's a switch to... That's right. We can't do anything while we're in battles, can we? Yeah, it seems very much kind of like Star Wars-esque, doesn't it? Dark side. I was kind of expecting if like this the way this is playing out, I was kind of expecting it to um yeah, I was gonna say gotta be some enemies on here somewhere. We're trapped on here. I guess it's just taking me over to the other side. What a maze, though, this place is. Crazy. I don't think we've actually had, like, an area this big. Um, so far in the game. Quite clearly, like, final dungeon territory.
Let's just take us another lift stop. Making sure there's no chests. this one are oh, you talking about um, the emperor okay. uh, Beerus really bad with your names down I do apologize Beerus but yeah um, the emperor Can I target the dragon and not the chest, please? No. I'll just waste that heal on Donald. Against new levels, the guys go that way. Force. Yeah, I can. I could see Star Wars would make a really good um, Kingdom Hearts area. You can see that. Where we just came from. Possibly. Yeah, we were just here, wasn't we? Okay, so that's uh, way down. It's not the one we want. Right, this one. Oh, of course, that does the other side, doesn't it? Yeah, that sounds about right. It was not the side I wanted. Heal. See ya. I need to swap Donald out for Beast here because Donald's getting absolutely pummeled again. These guys are quite annoying.
Did I come through here already? Accessories increased. That could be useful. Let's just check out then our equipment. All right, what are we going to equip? This is three extra AP. I just want to go for AP though. I think something that's like going to increase our strength and defense is probably a good shout. So we'll go for this golem chain, I think. upon the realistic voice dog <laughs> yeah, my, my my godson's uh, the same actually he does a, a mean Donald Duck impression Let's go the other way. Excellent. Progress is being made. Slowly, slowly. Catchy monkey. And that strike for it is really good. We are slowly making our way like higher and higher through this um, area. So, I see the path has emerged at last. Yes, the keyhole to the darkness. Unlock it. And the Heartless will overrun this world. What do I care? 
The darkness holds no power over me. Rather, I will use its power to rule all worlds. Such confidence. Oh. Ah. Impossible. The princesses of heart are all here. It must be her. Without her heart, she will never be able to release her power. The king's fools are here. I'll deal with them myself. You stay here and guard the princesses. Interesting that there's um, two different agendas going on here. So Maleficent just wants to like, use the Heartless to rule the world. Whereas um, the uh, Dar I don't really know who that is, but the person who's like, I would say like, Riku is like giving his body to sort of thing. Has uh, has got other ideas. Oh, this is a bad idea. I read a comment a while ago that somebody said like the story of Kingdom Hearts was like really complicated, but I think it's like one of the like simplest stories that I've played for a long while in a video game. So I'm not, I have no idea what they're really talking about when it um, comes down to it being complex. I don't know if that's like some of the um, the other games around it, which they, were, they maybe were referring to. Does it get complicated? Yeah. I suppose if, as well, if you don't play some of the, um, if you don't play some of, like the in between games, and you don't, if you only try and like go on the whole story based on first, second, and third games, then I suppose you're always going to kind of struggle. The only bit I'm not, I'm kind of like a little bit um, not sure about at the minute is the um, who that shadow guy is at the minute, but I don't know if I missed something. It was just like uh, the over the darkness overlord or something, uh, for lack of a better term. worried that like when you like characters like that are introduced and things start to happen and you don't really know why it's like i'm start to worry that oh have i missed something important in the storyline but i don't think like he's been explained yet so or
I mean, this is good for like leveling, but I don't know if this was the right idea to come back down here. I don't want it to get back down to the bottom of the lift and I feel like I've made a switch now, so um, yeah, I, I would tend to agree with that. And I guess that's where possibly some people could get a little bit confused. They're trying to tie all of that together. Okay, I know where I am now. says chest here though yeah i would i mean well i knew i, I did know that there were some final fantasy 7 character uh, well final fantasy characters in it obviously right at the beginning of the game you've got um tidus whacker and selfie from 10 and, and 8. Um, I was more confused at the beginning of the game, though, because they were calling him Leon. And I was, like, genuinely scratching my head as if to say, have I missed something here? Because I don't know who Leon is. And I was like, is Leon the name of the Keyblade that I'm looking for? Why, why are Donald and Goofy looking for Leon? Um... But yeah, it was good to actually, like, um, go back on some Final Fantasy VIII lore and actually find out Leon's name. Because I always thought as a kid, Leon's name was, uh, sorry, Squall's name was Squall Lionheart, where Lionheart is the name of his um, ultimate weapon in Final Fantasy VIII, where actually his name is Leonheart. And the reason they're calling him Leon is because of his last name, Leon. Leon. So, yeah, it was... Um, that was an interesting sort of early play to this, um, the playthrough. Obviously, I instantly saw him and was like, well, that's, that's, that's Squall. That's not Leon. So, yeah. But once I got that little bit of uh, confusion out of the way, it wasn't too bad. No, his last name is Leon Hart. If you, um... I'll, I'll try to go back. I think it was actually in the journal. I, I found that out. If you go to the journal and characters, yeah, his real name is Squall Leonhart. So it is actually in this game that his his name is actually Squall that they chose to use the first part of his last name so okay so cool. just so we did all of that basically just to get this other rest I think I've read I read the first couple when I found them. Um so I definitely I do t I do periodically try to go to the journal and like have a good read just to make sure cuz it's quite interesting as well to like find out about um characters and, and other bits and pieces that you may have potentially missed along the way. So 
Um, yeah, no, I definitely will. Oh, show. All right, well, I think this whole like quest here that I've been on here to, to like change the direction of this was simply just to get that extra chest there. So that was, I wouldn't say a waste of time, but obviously now I've got to do a lot of backtracking to get back to where I was before, which is a little bit, um, yikes. to the lower level before I'm not sure I did I think what lets me down a lot of the time in the combat in this game is I don't pay enough attention to what's going on with my characters. And a lot of the time they just end up dead the whole whole battle battle, so I really do need to kind of make a more conscious effort to keep an eye on those supporting characters a bit more. But then I don't know if that's like a case that because of where like the health bars and things are, they're not in like the best position to keep an eye on. Oh wow, I didn't mean to slide across there. Check um, abilities. Just take me back up to the top. Okay. Okay, so that's a way back to there. That's interesting. I wonder if there's like a way that you can... Where's the way you can get into there then from up here?
Yeah, I don't think there's really anything else but um, what Hypes has said, to be fair. It was just like a collaboration project to see what they could do, I think. Oh, I think this was just a bonus area, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay. Am I really all the way down here? Jeez. Keep on running. It's quite annoying, I think, because um, obviously you get to certain points and you can't progress unless you take on the enemies, so... Because, like, this in such, like, perilous areas, it's so easy to lose yourself. I suppose that's when you should probably turn to magic, right? Slowly, slowly, catchy monkey. Not a bad thing, Perfirius. It's good that you like to ponder things and that you have your own thoughts. And you like to form your own opinions rather than just jumping on like popular opinions or what other people think so yeah definitely not a bad thing my friend
why uh, Thor didn't want to lock on there. I can't believe that I just spent all that time, like, sending the castle and then just jumped off just because of secrets. I call that classic knot. Do I have to press all the switches again? Crank up the Sora. I suppose that is like the one good thing about having so many enemies here is that you can really level up in this final area, in the final dungeon, just in case you are that like little bit under leveled. There's plenty of enemies to like constantly battle. That strength is great because I'm taking these bomb things out now in three hits to Sora, so. a bit stronger and everything starts to get that little bit less annoying. to worry too much either about buying all those high potions and things because I think we've accrued plenty of them while we've been running around this area so I feel like we would have been fine without them simply to turn that, wasn't it? Surely not gonna like go into a boss fight about a save spot though, right? 
I'm afraid you're too late. Any moment now, the final keyhole will be unseen. This world will be plunged into darkness. It is unstoppable. We'll stop it. After coming this far, there's no way we're gonna let that happen. You poor, simple fool. You think you can defeat me? Me, the mistress of all evil! I guess we're not getting a safe spot then. Come on, guys, come out of the way. Roll out of the way, Sora. Scratch. Uh. Wow. That was surprising. I honestly thought that was going to be a, a lot tougher when I like went into a boss fight against Maleficent. Second form, please no. Ooh, whew. we got a safe spot. We got a safe spot. Finally, jeez. Um, all right, we got like 10 minutes out, so thinking we should probably call it here because I have a hunch we could be going like into genuinely going into final boss fight territory here relatively soon. Um, I don't like giving the other guys items because they just tend to like burn through them. I 
parts. So many gummy parts. Definitely got enough for another full stream. That's what I like to hear. Come on, after that, back on after that cutscene. So, um, yeah, I think I probably will call it there because, like I said, I've got about 10 minutes left of this stream and I don't think it's going to be worthwhile going into anything else right now. Um, so, yeah, thanks a lot, everybody, for tuning in once again. I really do appreciate it. I'm going to throw a raid over to uh, Marsh again. He's uh, streaming some Horizon um, Forbidden West, it seems. So we're going to throw a raid over to Marsh. Um, yeah, thanks everybody for tuning in. We'll be back again next Wednesday night. Um, where hopefully we, you know, we're in desperately close to the end of the story, at least. Um, then we're going to need to decide whether or not we're going to carry on playing for like completionist um because i would like to platinum these games but i'm not sure if i want to kind of do it um on or off camera i think probably on stream it would be better just to cover the main story aspects of the game rather than um you know grinding out too much of like the tropes i can do that in my own time so uh, if you've got any thoughts or preference on that please do let me know um but yeah Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. I really do appreciate it, Paul. I said we will be back next Wednesday night with more Kingdom Hearts um, on our quest to uh, uh, the end game. So, um, yeah, until then, guys, thank you very much for tuning in. I do appreciate it. I've been knocked. You've been awesome. Take care. Usual sort of stuff. Until next time, happy, ba happy, ba happy gaming. <laughs> Bye, guys.